Hi, I'm Mark Gatter, and welcome to my Adobe InDesign CC interactive videos. If you've ever wanted to use InDesign interactively, you have come to the right place. I've got the Adobe ACE in InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. I'm also an Adobe ACI. That's Adobe Certified Instructor, not Certified Idiot. I've got a bunch of books out there. I've also got my own company, Tunnel Vision LTD, and this is the URL for it. And there's links to all my other videos on there as well. Skillshare, Udemy, anywhere else they happen to be hiding. And I really appreciate it if you can give me feedback. Tell me what you thought. If anything could be improved, I really look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now. Now the first two and a half rows are all interactive material. These are the ones that you'd use if you're trying to build an interactive form, which we'll do later on. And all of the others are simple. They don't have a click state, but they do have a rollover state. Simple buttons, some of which you can add text to, some of which are really too small. Now I want some arrows. So here's a couple, a green arrow pointing to the left, and if I shift click, another one pointing to the right. Then I'm just going to drag them out onto the page and drop them. And now I don't need the library anymore because it's taking up a lot of space, so I'm going to close it. If I've got smart guides on, then as soon as these two are arranged horizontally, I get green lines showing up. I'm going to enlarge them both. So again, Control or Command Shift, click and drag. That's better. And then I want to put them, well, that's the middle of the page. Let's put them there. And I'm going to want to put this in the middle of the page. Now, if I click and drag across it, I selected all the objects, not just the top one. And there we go. Now that's in the middle of the page too. I guess it already was. What to do? So this arrow, I now need to tell it that it's going to rotate back through all the images. And I'm not going to do on release or tap. I'm going to do on click. However, before I do that, on release or tap has already got an action associated with it. I better get rid of that because it can have more than one action triggered by more than one event. And then you've got a button trying to do several different things at once. Could be confusing. So while that's selected, I'll click on the minus sign and say, yes, I want to delete the action. Now I can say on click and then click on the plus and go to previous state. And this one I'll do the same. Get rid of the action. Tell it to go on click. And this one's going to be go to next state. Now you see both of these go to previous state, go to next state come from the SWF to EPUB only section. Problem. If I exported this as a PDF, it would not work. I didn't need to tell it what object it was referring to because there is only one such interactive object on the page and it's found the one that I wanted it to find. What I could say is stop at first state, stop at last state, so it won't keep on looping through. The left-hand button will stop when it gets to 1. The right-hand button will stop when it gets to image number 5. Now I would need to export this either as Flash or EPUB, but I don't want to do either. Let's say I want to send this to a client so they can look at it, and I want to put it online. I'm going to use Publish Online. The title of the document is Slideshow. I could put in a description if I wanted. It's only a single page. If I clicked on Advanced, I could change the format from Automatic to one of these. I could change the resolution. This is Screen Res. That'll work. Image Quality High. I could say Maximum. GIF Options. Well, there aren't any. And I'm not going to select a PDF preset because that would mean for print. Let's go and have a look. And there it is. And if I click on the arrows, they work. This is all HTML5. That's what publishing the document did. It changed all the stuff that could not go out as a PDF into HTML5, which is 
like non-damaging flash. Now the only problem is if you look at the URL, it's clearly part of an Adobe site. I might not want to send that out to clients to look at the work that I've done for them. What I can do instead is this, Rebrandly. Now I don't own shares in this company. This is an online utility. You can enter a link to begin and tell it what you want it to become and it'll rebrand it for you. And you then send that link out to your clients. It's got your name, your branding on it. Now when they arrive at that material, the browser is still going to show this address at the top. But hey, it's a lot better than nothing. And the last time I checked, it was free. So that's it. As before, if you enjoyed these videos, please get in touch with me. Tunnel Vision LTD, there's the website. Let me know what you thought. I would really appreciate hearing from you. And you can ask me any question you want. Bye for now.